This is Howard Walensky for Skype, and I'm speaking with John O'Quick. He's a physician with uh, Management Sciences for Health, an international nonprofit health development organization based out of uh, the Boston area. Good morning. Good morning. And so why don't you tell me a little bit about Management Sciences? You're pretty far flung around the world, aren't you? Yes, we've been working in uh, developing countries for uh, nearly 40 years now and have about uh, 1,500 staff based in 30 countries in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. So what do they do around the world? Well, we work with uh, government health services, public health services, with uh, faith-based health services, and uh, with voluntary health services to improve their ability to actually deliver the care and services to the population that they, they aim to. So it's, it's really about building local institutional and organizational capacity for uh, lasting impact. Okay. Now, how does Skype fit into the equation? I know you're not not for profit. So do you save money using Skype? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the biggest challenges we have um, w with these 1500 people in, in 30 different countries, uh, we have a huge challenge trying to work together as one global organization. And so Skype has, has, has really revolutionized our communications. Um, you know, I can be in a um, meeting with people in, in, in Nigeria and through Skype and Skype out into local cell phones, uh, have a conference call that involves our staff in, in Vietnam and in, in Malawi. Um, and so with a combination of straight Skype and then using the Skype out, uh, we find not only is it cheaper, but the quality. If I try to use the overseas land, uh, the overseas uh, uh, lines for, for cell phones in, in, in countries in, in East Africa and, and all, uh, the quality is, is often nowhere near as good as if I use, uh, and it, the price is much higher than if I use Skype out. So I, uh, it, and the other nice thing is I can use a combination. So some of our folks that have um, good bandwidth can be on their uh, computers uh, directly on Skype and others, and I can mix and match cell phones, landlines. So it's, it's um, both, it saves a huge amount of money, but also really multiplies our, our chances to, uh, to connect with each other. So does it beat out uh, email as, as a way for communicating? <laughs> Well, they're, they're actually different functions. They're just things that you, they're things that that the the kind of definitiveness of email is good for. But when you need an interaction and a sense of community and being there, it makes a, a huge difference. Um, and I'll give you another example. We we have a um, again part of trying to wrap this global family together. Uh, we have quarterly staff meetings, which people can. Um, dial in with with go to meeting and so we'll have we may have uh, 200 people on on that line are watching from uh, usually only 15 or 20 of the countries but we'll use Skype to bring in the presenters from the field and again mix and match so it it, uh, it really helps in in adding a dimension of connectedness across cultures and people people out there working in the field although most of them are from the countries it's a very diverse organization um, just hearing each other's voices and being connected that way uh, it has a big impact so I mean you have people spread out in Pakistan or Malawi or or Vietnam or South Sudan or Afghanistan or Haiti and you can yep. draw, draw them together as a family over Skype Right, exactly. Do you, do you use video much? Uh, we're just beginning to. Uh, we're still wrestling in, with a, in, in some of our countries with uh, bandwidth. And so um, we're, we're getting into video, but it's taking a bit of, of uh, a trial and error. I'm confident it, it will come. So what, what do you envision as far as communications in the years ahead? Is bandwidth spreads and connections. I mean, there's over uh, 400 million people have signed up for Skype at this point, 350,000 a day. So there's a lot yeah. of opportunity to reach out to people. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would imagine that it will only uh, multiply. And as more of our clients and partners 
get hooked up with Skype and we teach people in the countries we work in um, by modeling it, um, how to do it and, and just spontaneous things. I was in the office in, in Tanzania two weeks ago and uh, was meeting with one of our regional folks and we just got on the line to Washington and had a conversation with our head of knowledge exchange there. So it's also the spontaneity of communication when you, you know, are literally uh, halfway around the globe from each other. Listen, John, I appreciate your help, and uh, let, let's keep communicating. Okay, Howard, good luck, and uh, hope Skype keeps multiplying its its uh, capabilities as it multiplies its membership. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Bye now. Bye bye.